Three-dimensional map from 13,000 years ago. In one of the caves located several dozen kilometers away Paris scientists have probably identified the oldest three-dimensional map in the world. It was created by shaping the rocky ground of the cave by ancient residents of the cave. According to scientists, it can be up to 13,000 years old. The cave system located in the valley of the river Cole several dozen the researchers have long been known to researchers south of Paris. In the groomed archaeologists found evidence of our existence through water in the sand blast. Ancestor Ancestors from 20,000 years ago In one of the caves, known as Scognoli 3, the researchers discovered the jumping drawings showing two horses. But it turns out, that there is something else a three-dimensional map of the area. The research was led by M. Dard Theory from Mines Paris, who enters a member of the Paris Institute of Science and Technology. Anthony collaborated with him Milnes from the University of Adelaide. Description and results of their preens appeared on the Oxford Journal of Archaeology. In their work, researchers found that part of the substrate the sand cave was modeled to reflect the features of the surrounding the landscape. According to them, the Paleolithic inhabitants of the cave carried out by about 13 thousands of years ago. What we have described is not the map that is created today with distances, directions, and travel time. It's rather three-dimensional miniature depicting the surrounding landscape, with tributaries from the surrounding ranges to streams and rivers, valleys, lakes, and swamps down the river. Milnes For the peoples of the Paleolithic, the direction of water flow and recognizable features the landscape was probably more important than modern concepts such as the distance and the time. This unique discovery and clearly show mental abilities, the imagination, and engineering skills of our distant ancestors he adds. Of course, the mapping of the surrounding area is not strict. Map creators probably used the natural shape of the substrate the rock cave and they reworked them a little. Researchers suggest that ancient map creators created in the cave something like a hydrological model. They modeled the sandstone in this way, to show the right paths of water flow and when it rained into the cave there was water, it was directed with ingrated grooves to the right places. Scientists argue that during the rain the cave ground it came to life and resembled the area, with the river local in the center, its tributaries, and the surrounding hills. The water flowed through carefully laid out canals, swimming pools, and hollows in the cave, and its surface turned into a dynamic, three-dimensional model, with rivers, deltas, lakes and hills. The authors of the study in the publication admitted that the water flow pattern points to the functional installation of the river system, which largely it corresponds to the valley where the cave is located. The accuracy of this network hydrographic reveals the extraordinary ability to think abstractly in these, who created it and those for whom it was intended, they wrote. The researchers in the article, the new Glenn rocket has flown into orbit. Success of Blue Origin Cape Canaveral, Florida launches new rocket Glenn by Blue Origin Jeff Bezos. The Virgin flight of a 2G rocket reusable use was a partial success. New Glenn rocket has achieved the assumed orbit, but failed to recover the first degree. New Glenn rocket launched shortly after 8 a.m. polish. About 12.5 minutes later, the second stage of the rocket reached the assumed stage it's in orbit. The first step was scheduled to land on Jacklin platform floating in the Atlantic Ocean, but it didn't work out. However, the goal has been the completed the rocket has reached orbit and delivered its payload experimental blue ring platform designed to support operations logistical in space. We got safely into orbit. 
Congratulations to O's all, said Arian Cornell of Blue Origin. Blue Origin is a space sector company Jeff Bezos, owned by billionaire Jeff Bezos, among others. The Amazon The current the company's achievements are a suborbital reusable New Shepard rocket, developed for space tourism. But New Glenn is a completely different the caliber. The New Glenn rocket is 98 meters high. It can get out on low Earth orbit, LEO, 45 tons of charge. The first degree is driven by 7B4 engines developed by Blue Origin engineers, using a mixture of liquid oxygen and liquid methane. The second degree it has 2B3U hydrogen engines. New Glenn rocket was named after the first an American who made an orbital flight in 1962 by John Glenn. The rocket New Shepard was also named after the famous astronaut Alan Shepard, who was the first American to be in space. On the other hand the platform on which the first step of the New Glenn rocket was to land Jacqueline, he's named after Bezos' mother. The successful launch of the rocket is a great achievement and will allow Blue Origin to compete with Elon Musk's SpaceX. However, SpaceX rockets have a bigger one the load capacity. Falcon Heavy can supply more than 63 tons of cargo to LEO, not to say already about the developed Starship Rake, which, according to the company, in a single version the use will be able to deliver up to 250 tons of cargo into low orbit. But Musk dominated the market with the Falcon 9 rocket, and with it is New Glenn who can successfully compete, as emphasized by specialists the space sector can break Musk's monopoly and lower prices. SpaceX from a few years was actually the only player, so having competitors is good the message. G said. Scott Hubbard, a retired NASA employee. Musk himself praised Bezos on social media and he congratulated him on his orbit at the first attempt.